Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a collab with Krista Bertner and we are doing our Ride or Die products. So I'm super stoked about doing this video because I do have my go-to products that I rely on day in and day out and they are just my absolute faves. What I found out or I noticed as I was doing these, I have a lot of budget type drugstore type ride or die products and I'm hoping you're going to enjoy it. So I did do my makeup today. Um, I have gone and I've ran errands. It is incredibly, incredibly humid and off the hook crazy. And so you can see why after running a ton of errands out in the swampy humidity, these things are stayed in place intact and have done an amazing job holding up in this type of heat so i hope you guys enjoy some of my favorite ride or die products that are on a budget and there might be one or two that i've uh, maybe just a little bit higher than drugstore prices but are definitely worth the the money that you invest in them so if you want to see how i got this look using some great budget ride or die products please stay tuned also, don't forget, I'm doing this collab with Krista Bertner, and I am totally off the hook excited to see what her ride or die products are, because I wanna see, are her, some of her ride or die products similar to mine? And if not, what do I need to put in my arsenal that maybe I haven't tried yet? So if you get a chance, please check out her channel. I've got the link below, and I think you're gonna enjoy some new to you ride or die products or maybe you've tried these if you have please put some comments below i'd love to hear what you think so let's get started i prepped and primed my face and that's why it's a little red so we're going to get started with the ride or die products we're going to start with the scandinavia and this is the makeup primer spray when i'm in a rush this is the one that i like because boom, now we're primed. Moving into the foundation, my favorite over the years has been the Revlon Color Stay. This is in 200 Nude. What I like most about this foundation besides the price is that it is really great at not transferring. So during the day, it heats up that the Revlon Color Stay does not transfer on my phone. And that in itself is exciting. For under eye, I like using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer, and this one is in number 10, Porcelain. I find that I like this better than the Tarte Shape Tape, and that's not just because of the price, although that is really exciting. I did want to mention my face is a little more red, not just because I just got out of the shower, but I had a massive bad reaction to the L'Oreal nighttime skincare. Oh my goodness. I would not recommend that. I am going to go a little more expensive instead of just the drugstore budget is um, I do like the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And to be honest with you, this stuff lasts forever. So while on the surface it looks like it's expensive, you'll, let, you'll use it for an enormous amount of time so it doesn't seem so expensive after all. I actually go back and forth between the Painterly Paint Pot and the Soft Ochre. Both of those work okay for me, mostly because I'm so fair skinned. Either of them are going to be fine because I'm going to cover it anyways. 
Now I'm not going to use any products today on my eyebrows. I have had them microbladed and so they are healing. So we're gonna skip the eyebrow bit just because I can't do anything with them today. All right, my next ride or die piece, and it is great for a budget, is the Cody Airspun. Um, once my sister-in-law introduced this to me, Sabrina the Makeup Mom, hi Sabrina, I haven't needed any other product. So the Cody Airspun really does a great job. It's a wonderful product for a budget and you know whether you want to spend money or not when a product product works it works and this one oh my gosh it just does what it needs to and the fact that it's inexpensive is fantastic I found that my ride or die products for the most part seem to be more along the lines of products that are inexpensive. I do have my high end products that I love for ride or die, so who knows, maybe I'll do another video with my higher end ride or die products. But these typically are the ones that I love to go to that I feel most comfortable with. Next is the Revlon Color Stay, and this color is in chocolate. I love this this color um, whether I line my lips with it or totally color in my lips this is one of my favorites I like the fact that you don't have to sharpen these and you just roll these up and it's just ready to go My next ride or die product really says how much I was ride or die. Um, this is also from the Revlon Color Stay. The color was in 220 Coffee. So they quit making this color and I went everywhere you could think to buy these, whether it was online, going to the drugstores, etc. I probably have a good 20 of these because I was so afraid they weren't going to come out with a color like it. And really I haven't seen a color like it, so I'm really glad that I bought at least 20. And I just love how it gives a nice, really pretty brownish color. So for me, this, so far, I'm really giving you guys a clue on my everyday ride or die makeup. As far as a bronzer, I actually um, found through one of my beauty boxes, I think it was through BoxyCharm, that I fell in love with a new bronzer and that is from it's the mineral glow bronzing powder from pure so ever since I've gotten this one I've kind of put all my other bronzers aside it just does a really good job for my fair skin tone and I like it Now we're really going to get into some of my fun products that I love and so this one's going to be a little bit more difficult when I start talking about eye shadows. It, it is but it isn't. So um, anyone that knows me well knows that I am a makeup geek fanatic and so to be honest with you all of my eyeshadows are makeup geek related. These are my go-to. These are the ones that I love the most. I mean, the, the shadows overall are very inexpensive. I think they're like $6 for each one of the pans. So I love the fact that they are inexpensive, but I love the how much that they wear and what great quality that they have. So really and truthfully, when I want a beautiful eye and I know that it's going to be consistent, I know that I'm not going to be upset while I'm blending, I'm not worried about the pigmentation, it's always Makeup Geek. So we are going to go with some Makeup Geek products today. And again, anyone that knows me knows that's not a real big surprise, right? 
Okay, we're gonna start out with some beaches and cream. Next, we're gonna go in with a little bit of this pinkish color here called cupcake. Build up the color using a little bit of cherry cola and the crease. I really can't say enough great things about these products. Then we're going to go in with some Americano. And I'm just using the same brush as I'm building up the color. like to darken it up a little bit more to do more of a smoky eye there's always the corrupt which is the black I'm gonna take a finer brush here and I'm gonna go back in with some of the cherry cola And along the outside of the lower lash line, we're going to use some Americano to darken that up a little bit and blend it in. To add just a little bit of whimsy to the upper lid, we're going to use some Whimsical. So I'm just going to dab that right on. Adds a little bit of whimsy. Okay, next we are going to get into the eyeliners and what is my go-to eyeliners so it really depends if I want a liquid or a cream so I'm gonna talk about both um, one is from L'Oreal it's the 24 hour infallible and then the other one is the Maybelline waterproof ultra liner so both of these are really good depending on what I want to do and I will say I do like the L'Oreal. These pots better than the Maybelline. They go on better, but they stay on better. And so they kind of inch out Maybelline on that one. And as you can see, I'm probably getting close to having to buy a new one of these. The other thing that I like about this little guy is that you can use it with um, a flat brush and use it on your inner waterline. As far as false lashes go, I really like the Ardell Wispies and these aren't Ardell, those are Kiss, those are my backup ones. Um, but my favorites really are the Ardell Wispies, and this is in 110. I used to wear false eyelashes every day, and then I developed an allergic reaction to the glue. And so I tried about 10 different glues, and I could probably lay them all out. Um, but I just couldn't find anything that didn't make my eye swell. And it was only one eye out of two, which was absolutely crazy. So anyways, um, I came across Tardius Pro, and this one doesn't have a lot of formaldehyde, which I didn't realize they were putting formaldehyde in some of the eyelash glues, which is pretty, I don't know, kind of scary. No wonder why my eye didn't like it. Who wants to have formaldehyde on their eyes, right? So in doing some research and some testing, I found that the Tardiest seems to be the best for me. So that's not exactly a low end ride or die pro product, but it is a product that when no other products work, it doesn't matter how much you have to spend. So we are going to apply some false eyelashes and as those dry, then I'm going to go ahead and finish with my blush, highlighter, and setting spray. Now, I have tried inexpensive eyelash curlers 
and liked them. They were okay. But then I came across the Tarte eyelash curlers and I will tell you the Tarte eyelash curlers changed my eyelash curling life. So once again, um, while I do do a lot of my ride or die products are inexpensive, there are some that are just way worth the price. And it's not like you're ever gonna run out of your eyelash curler. So to spend a little bit extra money on your eyelash curlers isn't a bad idea. Okay, so I may have to take a break to put these eyelashes on. There, it's sometimes I can get them on, just pop them right on, and other times it's like wrestling a gorilla in oil. So I'll be right back. Okay, so those popped on really nice. I think that's another reason why I really like that are Dell Demo Wispies, is because they do pop on my eyes really easy, and I typically don't have to cut them or wiggle around with them. They just pop on nice. So now we're going to talk about blushes and I'm going to go back to um, Makeup Geek because I really do enjoy the Makeup Geek blushes and I have those in, I have the Makeup Geek blushes in three different Z palettes. So basically I can look through and say, all right, what, what colors do I, am I looking at? Do I want a peach color? Do I want a pinkish color, etc.? So today we are doing a little bit more of a pinky mauve. And so we are going to go in with Love Letter. The other thing, these things are really pigmented, so um, you don't have to use a whole lot to get great color. Now if we're going to talk about highlighters, I love the Nicole Guerrero highlighters from An Anastasia Beverly Hills, but again, Makeup Geeks are really inexpensive, comparatively speaking, and you get large pans. So this is actually a dual-sided Z palette that I put together with her highlighters and these are my go-to. I've sent some to my sister-in-law and my niece absolutely loves them. So today we're going to use this little guy here or this little gal. This little gal here is called Blitz. It's like a pinkish color highlighter. And we're just going to apply those on the cheeks and check out that highlight. I mean come on now. So considering Makeup Geek's pan size, the quality, etc., I mean, the price per pan is just amazing. So those are so far my ride or die as far as cheeks, etc. Now we're gonna finish off the look with some mascara. Drum roll, please. And I hear all the drums rolling out in YouTube land. So we are gonna go with the Lash Sensational. Okay, so I went to my nephew's graduation and I thought in my mind all Lash Sensational Black was waterproof. Whoops! They redid their formula and this one that's in the black is luscious full fan effect. Holy crud! So A, I was super excited to use it and realized this wasn't waterproof, but then I knew I would be crying so I was a little concerned about how bad I would look once I started going, but I love this new formulation from Maybelline on the Lash Sensational Luscious. So if I want to add a little bit of shimmer on my favorite Revlon Color Stay lipstick, then I go to my favorite lip topper. And this one is by Milani. It's the Glitzy Gloss, and this one's called Putting on the Glitz. So this just gives a nice, pretty pearl effect. Which makes the lips look a little fun. And to finish off this look, we are going to use the Makeup Finishing Spray by Scandinavia. I have tried other makeup finishing sprays and just have not had as great 
of a hold factor as what Scandinavia has. So I think that's another reason why I really like it as a quick primer and the finishing spray is amazing. So basically you've just seen all of my ride or die products. Most of them again are from the drugstore, which is absolutely exciting because that means you can get them on a budget. So basically this became a budget ride or die. Who knew that all the products that I absolutely love and go to are from the drugstore. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, I've really enjoyed doing the ride or die collaboration with Krista Bertner. So if you get an opportunity, I'm going to leave her link below for her ride or die products. So please take the time and check out what product she likes. I'm actually pretty stoked about watching her video myself to see do we have any that are in common and if not I need to try her products compared to some of my ride or dies. So if you can please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to Krista and myself and as always you have a choice so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.